man. Oh. Yeah, I'm just chilling here. Feeling kind of. Feeling kind of dragged down, man. Just bogged out. All this stressful stuff going on, man, just sometimes can bog you out, man. And I mean, there's all kinds of. It's, it's like a dang boat with a bunch of different little leaks in it, man. Just when you get a few of them plugged, man, another one pops, man, from a different un, unforeseen location or angle, direction, whatever. Uh, so. Sometimes you gotta pull yourself out of it, man. Just restart your. Restart your system real quick, man. Just, oh, man. Just snap out of whatever repetitious thing you've been doing. And sit back and don't think about nothing for a second. But I seen this video the other day. Uh, and it got blocked really quick, man. Uh, you gotta, you had to jump through some hoops to go look at it. It's this dude, uh, his name's Unplugged. And... He was showing these older videos from like 1963, where, uh, or some year like that. It was back in the day. It was black and white. But it showed how the, the psychologists, man, were, were describing uh, these symptoms, man. Uh, the symptom of, uh, you know, let's just say, you know, uh, homosexuality, you know, for instance. You know what I mean? Uh, it's, see. There's this, there's a deception, man, that going on, man, where it's, by saying something was caused by someone's genetics, when it really wasn't, that's a mistake we make these days, you know, like, uh, here's, here's being, here, here's a perfect example, if I said, all white people are racist, it's in their genetics, now that's a big, it, stupid ignorant statement because listen me as a mature individual making mature reasoning I see what the where that comes from growing up someone taught them that it's learned behavior man it's not genetic it's just these traditions of people man of families of ethnic groups where they they cling to hatred and it gives them a purpose and a strength, you know, and that's kind of like, you know, the old Darth Vader paradigm, kind of almost, <laughs> you know, that's one route to go that way, you know, uh, and, and looking back at my life, I know, yeah, man, a lot of this stuff that I picked up over these years, man, is learned behavior, man, and it just, you don't even know exactly when you learn, because it's not something that you yourself taught yourself. It's something through the years you've seen and you become accustomed to and used to to where it appears normal now. Now you gotta now if you take that and apply that to every person you meet, man, they got so much stuff in there. For the most part, most people do, man. That's what gives them their surface deep skin, deep perceptions, man. That uh, and it all comes from that very uh, learned behavior that I'm speaking of. And I realized this too, man. Listen, all this time, you know, I, these genetic excuses, man, these limitations. Oh, you're a drug addict. Uh, it's in your genetics. Well, but to say it's solely genetics is kind of, is taking the free will out of it. It's like almost like, oh, you have no control over your mind and your thoughts and your the direction you want to go in. But when you realize these things are learned behavior. It empowers you when you call it, when you dismiss it off on a, on a lie, on a fairy tale, basically, man. Darwinism, this is all fairy tales, man. Really, it's a faith. Like, statism is also a faith. You know what I'm saying? If you follow your leaders, that means somehow you're going to be okay, and it's good, and it's right, and it's righteous. Or even when they're your unelected leaders. You know what I'm saying? It's like the so-called leaders. Or whatever, dude. Uh, uh. You can't even quite define it these days. That's just how blurred these lines are. And it's this is done by design. You know what I'm saying? This is the perfect... It's an antithesis to the truth because it seems scientific, like the Bible even says, so-called so -called sciences. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it, it's all... Uh, it's manufactured, man. It's, it, it's 
the scientism, scientismism uh, itself, scientismism, <laughs> uh, is another, this is learned behavior, man. Uh, because, I mean, it's, it's not everything you learn, you're not all learned behavior is going to be good. Some learned behavior is going to be uh, pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, so people will teach you tricks like uh, when you're doing, you got different jobs, right? Each job you go to, people teach you little different tricks. It's not, you know, you still work just as hard and just as uh, fast or whatever, but you do it, you know, you, 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 you work a lot more with your mind. You rely, you use your mind to make your body be able to uh, achieve more output. That's learned behavior as well. Uh, uh, but... Uh, other things, you know, it's just, you can see that it was intentionally, it was left out there so people would learn it, and in time, those seeds would open the door for worse and worse uh, learned behavior, and then deviation further and further and further from the truth. It's like what further society drifts away from the truth, you know, more of that society will hate uh, those who speak it. I think that's Orwell. I think it's that's a paraphrase of his quote. But, I mean, that's it, too. That, that, this is part of it, man. And it's like, I don't even, it all, that whole, oh, you're g genetically predispositioned to be a criminal because you're uh, Mexican. You know what I'm saying? And when I say Mexican, I mean anyone who speaks Spanish. I mean, no disrespect to Spanish people, man, or Spanish-speaking people. Because there's many different nationalities, again, and ethnicities that, are Spanish-speaking people, but yet for some reason we think it's all like one race. It just shows you this race thing is more. That's genetics. That's predetermined fate. That's another thing. Like, what did they think in Nazi Germany? They got the people to believe that it is just genetic, and you just gotta. You can't. You can't teach people the truth and let it fix its own problem. You know what I'm saying? The lack thereof. You know, instead, we got to go kill all these people that we intentionally made sick by fluoride and uh, bad food and uh, lies that you teach us. You know what I'm saying? And, and these, these bad learned behavior uh, that goes out. So, I mean, in these days and times, you got to have such a strong mind because whatever your learned behavior, if you want to go out, and you can go marry a duck. You know what I'm saying? If you want these days. I mean, I don't know where that learned behavior comes from, to be honest. That's... That's people, you know, I guess, you know, uh, you know, there's many different ways this can go. Uh, <laughs> it, it's just that person is confused. Well, you know, where there's confusion, you will see things like that. People will be confused about their, their real identity. They won't be comfortable because, uh, you know, it's like instead of telling people, you know, hey, it's just a bad habit that you picked up over the years, uh, unlearning. You know, people will think that, oh, it's, it's me, it's in my genetics. And there's something uh, people need to look into. It's called epigenetic markers, which means our DNA changes according to our actions, our mindset. Some people say the v, uh, vibrational frequency, harmonics. I mean, there's many different lovely ways you could paint, paint it, you know, and it is true. You know what I'm saying? If the epigenetic thing is true. To some extent, your vibrational frequency, harmonics, everything, like if your blood, your mindset affects your blood, so therefore it's like a filter. You know, everything that's pumped into it comes out through your filter and you kind of add your energy to things. You know what I'm saying? Or you take bad energies and you can use your filter to, you know, shut that, shut these, or filter these out, block them, you know, or let them flow through, don't absorb them. It says, you know, the thing about Kung Fu is, is it's it's not uh, how easy you can necessarily learn is what makes you good at it. It's how quickly you can unlearn all the bad habits that you picked up. And unfortunately, the double-edged part of the Kung Fu is that just means skilled practice. So you can apply that to anything. You can apply that to good things. Keeping people alive, taking care of people doing uh, the right thing, or you could turn it into just being a total, you're constantly hunting for some mayhem or mischief. And you can train your mind. It's learned behavior, but once you learn something, you can use it like a weapon, or, or you can use it for a weapon or a tool. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 
and that's all on the you know this that's where you start getting into the real hearts and mind and soul of a person because you know the shit you talk about that's the shit that's in your heart uh at some point not everything you say is coming from the heart some a lot of stuff we say is just it's just speculation it's momentary it's how i see things right now uh you know what i'm saying this is me at the moment but 10 moments from now something drastic could happen i could have a severe change you know what i'm saying in in perception you know uh you can shut off the conscience and you can turn it on like i was listening to uh the hagmans and steve quayle and this other guy was on and this other they were talking about the super soldier program the biggest enemy they have to making the perfect you know war machine human your bionic eight thousand million dollar man whatever is human compassion it's the conscience your very humanity is the weapon that they're the, that's their biggest problem that's their glitch in the matrix that's how you glitch their matrix so don't lo- lose your actual humanity see Lynn, when you start marrying ducks you're losing your humanity you're becoming like an animal and you're not an animal you got very bad learned behavior and you need to snap out of snap out of it i mean pull yourself out don't get stuck in the pit man uh, if you can't pull yourself out, I guess ask for help. Uh, uh, that's the first. That's one of the first things is you got to learn all these ways to unlearn things. And man, I ain't figured that out. I still, you know, I still have certain things go down, compulsions and shit. I just can't quite control all the time. You know what I'm saying? Where my mind, you know, thoughts are powerful, man. If you don't control your thought, your thought may control you. You know what I'm saying? And it's all kind of like self-hypnosis. You get running on autopilot. Say say you've trained your mind to be on good autopilot. You're always looking out. You're cautious. You're uh, paying, attention, paying attention. So even if you slip your mind on autopilot, it's good. But some people, you know, say they're, they're thieves. Say they're opportunist thieves, right? But say they do it so much that it's... When autopilot comes on, they go out and do what they do when they're in their right mind but their autopilots become kind of it's it's programmed to do the wrong thing <clears throat> and i mean you gotta take that into consideration that people just do shit because it's bad bad learned behavior and i mean you before you blame totally uh everything on everyone or even the person you know maybe that that introduced them to the negative uh learned behavior but who taught them that taught them, that taught them. And where does this come from? Where are our biggest sources of negative learned behavior coming from? You just gotta, you point these things out, there's always a nice way you can explain something to someone, and even if they don't like what they're hearing, they don't walk away like, like, oh man, you're intentionally targeting me for some reason, and you, you're not perfect, we're not. So, (laughs) you know, that's why we should strive towards, uh, being better at explaining things and dealing with people, communication, be more gentler and kind and charitable. Because, I mean, you can't really, it's, it's better, if you want to combat learned behavior, you got to combat it with good behavior. If you got all these fucking cops dressed in fucking Nazi uniforms in prisons, where a dude, you know, was selling some weed, he's in prison now. And he's looking at this guy dressed like a stormtrooper, beating guys while they're down. I mean, whether they deserve it or not, that's besides the point. It's like you're trying to correct bad learned behavior with even worse learned behavior. And that is just as stupid as things get, man. It's just dumb and dumber like the movie out here. And I mean, sometimes I'm, I get, I even get dumber than that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but I'm trying to... Uh, unlearn some of that behavior so you know you can't unlearn a bad habit overnight and you you know you can't train yourself you can't master your new trick you know without uh knowing it for a while and you know trying to apply it (laughs) you know what i'm saying so it's like it's crazy process man but stop being so on the darwinistic man is a monkey bandwagon and, and realize it's 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 taking away your humanity. You know what I'm saying? You're you're giving it away. You're selling your soul. You're trafficking your soul to become a monkey when you're already a man. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. <laughs>